Hello everyone, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops. Today we're looking at a CAT Excavator 308E model. We're using the Kajali Jile Test software here. So we're going to choose our off-highway module to start with, pick heavy machinery, and choose our manufacturer. So that's done, we'll hit System Scan up here, and this will actually find the machine for us. Uh, we'll have to choose our connection here, which is on the new style. If we did want to, we could go down and actually pick our model of machine out. But this is probably the simplest way to get connected here. Okay, it's going to go through and scan and look for all of these. I've sped this process up. It does take around two or three minutes to find all the modules on the machine. Um, once you've done so, you'll see these, you know, highlight up here, and it's going to tell you, you know, we've got our machine control module at the very top here, and then the engine ECM, which is what we're going to take a look at here today. It does tell you whether that communicates on CDL or 1939 network there. And it'll take it just a few seconds to connect, get a little bit of identification information, and we can go in here and read fault codes. Currently no codes in the machine. Um, if there were, we can go in here and actually clear them too as well. But we'll go to ECU data, which is just going to give us a little bit of information on the ECU itself. And then parameters are things we can get in here and change. So we can go in here and code injectors. Um, we can display them as well, which will give us our current injector code that's in the system. And then by going down to injector coding, You'll accept for your expert mode, and you get a little bit of information on here on how to do that. Okay, we're gonna back out of that because we don't have any injectors to code today, and we'll look at monitoring, which is just gonna be your live data. Okay, so this is gonna be all your different parameters here. You can narrow that list down if you want. Um, there's 11 pages, so I'm gonna kind of flip through these fairly quickly. Just want you guys to get a little um, taste of what this looks like here. All right, and page 11. Click our check mark and then we can actually click our back arrow and then go into maintenance. So one thing you might not have noticed here with the injector coding and these three commands here is this is actually a Kubota engine that's been rebadged. This is a V3307. Okay, so you can see here you've got the option to reset soot load and then you can force the regen. Um, this gives you a little bit of information about it. We are going to go ahead and force the regen so you guys can see what it looks like. First thing I got to do is I got to get it up to operating temperature. So I'm going to kind of skip through this part here since it's obviously still cold there at 98 degrees. Once we get up to up or to our temperature here, we're at 150.8. I'll let it idle back down. You can see then at that point, all of those we got in the green check marks were okay to go ahead and proceed. We're going to get a couple little warnings here that the region has been requested from the tool. So we'll click accept again. It's going to process and then we'll click continue with the process one last time and this will actually request the regeneration see there regen in progress and it'll take it just a few seconds here and you'll see that rpm begin to rise and then we can keep an eye on some parameters here while that regen is taking place so it'll take it just a few seconds here you'll begin to see the throttle position change rpm is going to increase okay there we go we're up to 100% throttle position, 2100 RPMs. All right, guys, overall, pretty good coverage on this machine. Thanks for watching.